Sonic Adventure 2. It's Adventure 2. So. Uh, it's well. We'll start with that. Sonic Adventure 2 is the better game, better story, oh better my stages, God, you better music. Bam, bam, bam. It what? Got everything right. Okay, hold yeah, on. Yeah, the treasure oh. hunting is a bit shit with the three radar things. Yeah, the mech stages can be a bit blocking level design. That's two thirds of the game right there. Assets very well. Music phenomenal. The Sonic and Shadow stages are the best. The level, level series, designs and... are more linear. The the honestly, I, I feel like... it's bad for the record. Just just putting that out there. I yeah, linear is not bad, and I think it just perfect. makes it more. Well, hang on, me and. Premi like Sonic Heroes, and those stages were pretty linear, but I feel like Adventure 2's linearity is a bit more... Again, after, the thing, okay, after this is the thing about Adventure, Adventure 2, 1. right? It's like the speed levels got like all the linearity, the treasure hunting got like all the open shit, and then the mech levels got like most of the platforming. It's like they separated everything. Okay, but th literally the me okay the mechs. Okay, let's talk about this for the three games. Also, styles. also the mech levels, specifically I the Eggman yeah, levels, I, I, I hate that underrated. Hate, by the I way, some two, of the best but, levels in the game. Yeah, like wait, what? What are they? Oh, I wouldn't go that far. But wait, you said the mech levels? levels are some of the best in the game. I stand by that. Do you think the mech levels are better than Gamma? No, it's, well, that's literally just the the block quiz. Well, hold on. Do you think design. the mech levels in Adventure Two are better than Gamma? Gameplay wise, yes. What? Yes. Really? Yeah. 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 I think Gamma controls and has better levels all around compared uh, to Gamma. Those in Gamma 2. is more smooth and control. The mechs are tankier, but aside from that, level design for Eggman and SA Two was clean. Yeah, uh, well, isn't, isn't Sand Ocean literally like moving blocks like Sardic Colors? But you have to wait and stand on. You don't have to wait. If you're good at it, you can speed run it. Or at least do it faster. You don't have to, it. You don't have to wait. Uh, you can yeah. literally just well, actually, you everything. do if you're first playing it and you don't have the fight ability, so fuck you. So you get the fight ability when you're playing though. So. Uh yeah, but you don't get it in Sand Ocean, you bitch. You, I'm pretty sure you get so, it before. <laughs> what I'm I was pretty gonna sure say, you don't. What I was gonna say was like the gameplay for Adventure 2 for me, I don't I don't hate Adventure 2 by any means, by the way. I just think I just really think Adventure One was just the overall better package. In terms of Sonic's uh, and by the way, there's this misconception. Oh, I this I is a misconception, by the way, because I do know a friend that like goes into the coding of both games, Adventure 1 and Adventure 2. Adventure 2 Sonic does not control differently from Adventure 1. He just has different animations, and your brain makes you think he controls differently in Adventure 2. It, no, they both the control the same. The is definitely different. It's nerfed in SA2. Well, uh, yeah, the spin dash, yeah, yeah. It's and, just and different SA2 animations. It's overall stiffer in movement. It's not no, the no, same. No, uh, no, no, no. Well, not if true. what Sam's saying is true, then no. The, no. Code, the, the coding for both games are exactly the same in movement and control. It's just yeah, the animations. Yeah, I believe you. Because in the first game, the sounds were a lot lighter, so it makes Sonic it's feel more nimble. It's literally just the animations and the level design and all. It gives your brain an illusion that Sonic just feels yeah. different. I, I promise you. When you're running you. at full speed with Sonic in SA1 and you turn, it feels different to when you're running at full speed in SA2 and you turn, in SA2, Sonic just turns completely, like, Man, maybe you're just a dumb shit. Well, the thing is, in a lot of <laughs> SA1 stages, a lot of them are flat, but when it comes to Adventure 2, they started making a lot more slopes and downhill stuff for Sonic, so that Sonic is going way faster in that game, and that's why you feel like his turning yeah, is... Yeah, and that's what I was gonna say. So SA2 is faster. You can do all these cool tricks in the air, get these cool, gra like, radical, groovy shit. And, like, the set pieces were way better in Adventure 2. I like one better. yet, so I don't even know how you're talking about this. <laughs> and, um... Well, uh, at the end of the day... I just think... I think it was smart that they only took three gameplay styles and used it for six characters, rather than trying to... One thing I appreciate well, about SA2 is tales. that it was more challenging than SA1, I'll give you uh, that. The Chow Garden is way better in SA2. Hello. I feel like that's like, not. I feel like that. I feel like yeah. That's that's like the general consensus. Like no, nah, Sonic Adventure Two is really the best. In terms of originality, like the best original 3D Sonic game, Sonic Adventure Two is it. That's it. Wait, right. originality. Story. Adventure One that's was original. Wrong. What? Adventure One was original. Yeah, no. Adventure Two is better. Adventure well, 2 is better than Adventure 1. I mean, yeah, okay, well, I, I, I think Adventure 1's better, but anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, because we're about to move on to the goal yeah. anyway. Sonic oh, Heroes, no. Sonic oh, Heroes, no, hold on. created in the history of gaming, <laughs> will never be taught. Right. Hey, Prem, like, hey, Prem, okay. you want to race in Sonic Do you want to, do you want to bring that up? Oh, oh, let me bring up Brian <laughs> right now. I'm in hell. All right, listen, so, <laughs> Heroes... 
I grew up with heroes just like Premi, and I like heroes as well. But here's the thing. Oh, I, uh, I I don't agree that it is the GOAT. I, I do I do like heroes and I feel like it gets a lot more hate than it deserves. But I will agree heroes has a lot of flaws. The controls in heroes, though it doesn't bother me oh, because I got uh, used to that. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. With the controls for heroes, though they got more slippier, for me personally, it doesn't really bother me because the level design is worked around that control, and because <laughs> I grew up with, and because I grew up it's with that, that game, shit. because I grew up, <laughs> what? Is, shut, shut up! And because that is I, just not true. That is so not you, true. It's so true, to him. What the fuck? Half the time, Sonic is so he's. He slips off everywhere. That is well. No, I knew he just hold on. The levels were not designed well for Sonic. Uh, you're just wrong. You're listen, wrong. I love it you when you go even, through a loop. You haven't even been in the main game yet. yet. Oh, you haven't even been in the main game yet. The main game. Well, I'll be in Sonic's <laughs> section and oh, shadows. Well, that's not just the Sonic's part. That's all. Oh, I'm not, I've Sonic. not done Amy's and I've not done the chaotic. Yeah, okay. see, see, you haven't been in the game. Listen, Dis here's did you I the mode and beat you in. Here's the thing. Here's you the got thing. lucky. Let me finish my get... damn point. I was five minutes ahead of you. <laughs> oh I will, look, I was being nice to you because I was being mean about Bryony for years. So I you <laughs> Bullshit. Oh my god. Okay, so yes, Sonic is slippery as hell in Sonic Heroes. The game has a the lot. To to the tales, game has a lot. The to use. You will have your chance to speak. <laughs> the game has a lot of flaws. It does. I, I even think some of the stages can get yeah, pretty really, linear and they do the overstay their welcome. As a synonym for no, no flaws okay. whatsoever. Sonic you know what me with heroes. heroes. How the fuck do you go from the excellent control of Sonic Adventure 2 the to the different biggest, engines, the biggest, the biggest downgrade in Sonic, con Sonic control ever in the franchise? They are, they are different Adventure 2 to like... Heroes. That is the biggest downgrade ever. Look, t Heroes is the GOAT, okay? I mean, to be fair, I don't on. even hate heroes. I really like heroes. Well, I think on. it has well, a cool I, I feel level. like I need to ask this. Premi, you, you keep saying it's the GOAT. Can you, and will, I promise you will not interrupt for the next 30 seconds while you explain. Why, yep. like, like, give us detail. Why is heroes better in control and everything like that? in comparison to adventure. Okay, I need to do a video on the control. The control is not perfect. Obviously you have slippery movement, but I think there's different kinds of control. There's like physics, like movement, and then there's the actual abilities you have. He's the most, Sonic or Team Sonic is the most acrobatic in the whole series. You have Sonic's ability to rocket excel, tornado, which you can use to get extra height, and he has the ability to wall jump in 3D, which is only in, what, two games? Then you also have Tails at your disposal, who can fly, and Thundershoot, and you have Knuckles, who has ground combat and aerial combat, okay. all at the same time in the same level. Every other Sonic game, you are limited to one character at a time. You can do less, which means the levels are designed around less movement. You know what? Um, okay, now well, I... I'll half agree to that, but then I'll also say that it makes the levels feel segmented to certain characters. No, because like, they give you the freedom the... to use different characters. Right, they give you, you know, the freedom. You can go against huge... the monitors if you want to go faster. And you know that because you spare on the game. Now, hold on real quick. Now, uh, again, I do like heroes, uh, but I, I will say that, you know, I feel like the first few levels in Heroes did a good job at letting you choose which pathway you want to go on, but over time the levels do get more linear and more segmented based on each character. You get to like Final now, Fortress. There's now, so many things you can do how, with Tails that you could skip sections that you would you're supposed to do something else with maybe Knuckles okay. or whatever, and you could just go around it. Now you, you know? just kind of explained what the characters had, but can you explain to me how does the Rock Excel be just a spin dash from adventure yeah. how does yeah, please, how Pam. is how is the 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 homing attack in that game more responsive than adventure because it's not and how no, wait, no, 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 the homing attack is better than adventure i'm gonna oh. vouch for prem here the homing attack is better because you can the actually choose the vertical height of the homing attack and i think that's a well neat detail and also when you home an attack you have movement you have momentum. You can hold that home in attack and then use it to move around before you do the next one. They don't have yeah. that in a lot of Sonic yeah, games. Yeah, I think the home in attack is sick in that game. 
Again, I, I don't hate the home attack, but I feel like Adventure was a bit more responsive in terms of the no, game. No, when you play. do a home attack in Adventure, you hit it, and then that's it. You can't really move much. Yeah, you can't do anything. Well, I was in Heroes, you actually do, and I think that's pretty like, cool. I honestly think Heroes Control is, like, the mechanics are very slept on. I get that, yeah, it's slippery, whatever, but if you actually look at the moves that you have and how you can use it with the level, and it's also level design, okay? In, in general, Sonic games have, like, a balance of like maybe speed, platforming, exploration, enemies, level length, and every Sonic game like changes the levels of these different things to create what's effectively the level design of the game. Heroes level design was designed in a balance that was crafted exactly the way I wanted it to be, to the point what? where it's you just like, like perfect to me. You don't think Do you Mystic like right? You Castle like pulling switches and. Killing enemies. I love through. heroes level design. Period. I love the length. Honestly, I, I don't hate speed. it. At all. I love I the like platforming. It. I'm fine with the linearity. I actually prefer more linear games in general because I like Sonic Two over Three. I love Crash One. I mean, but like, here's, it, it goes without saying. There is I like a problem. The th there is two problems I want to bring up about heroes that we are failing to mention. Um, we have been talking about t Team Hero. The thing is, is to beat the game in its whole package. Teams. Now, I hate, I kind of hate this argument that people have about Heroes. I feel like Heroes is a game that you can't just sit down and binge and play in one sitting to beat the entire game. This but is a game you games, have to put down and pick up over like time. No, but you don't have to be really... You, you, yeah, I, but, don't, but, I don't like this argument. You don't no, have no, to I, but I do agree it is a bad design to have to do it four times. I don't, I don't think it's a bad design. Do you know why? Why? Because the final boss, like the final, final boss... First of all, each team has its own end credits, so they are all self-contained teams that you could beat one team and just ignore the rest of the game if that's what you want to do, if you didn't like it enough. The final, final ending requires playing as all four teams. So what kind of design would it be to go, oh, you beat the game on just team Rose, now go and do the final boss, which involves using Dark, Sonic, Rose, and Chaotix when you just beat it on one team. Well, the let me tell you something. The designed around having knowledge of all four teams. Well, let me tell you And something. if you didn't like the game enough after one team to play it some more, then you don't really care that much about the final ending. In fact, if you didn't know there was a final ending, you would have just stopped playing it after one team and not come back. Unless, of course, you were me and you just wanted to play the other teams, which is who that is targeted towards. It's a bonus ending. But here's the thing. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you didn't have to beat all characters to get to the final, final part. You could just do it as each character. Because you were only playing as one character. The final boss in Heroes is not just one team. Well, it's yeah, not like you have, you you have multiple Rose characters in the Rose team, but essentially you're playing Bell one Madness. team. But anyways, my point is, is like, okay, Heroes has its inherent flaws. But I just think, I, that, I honestly, I think, I think that the playing it four times thing is, I, I, I feel like it's a very weak argument. No offense. It's I, just, no, I, 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 it so I agree times, with you. I feel like, I like, feel like it's not that big of a hindrance because if as long as you... As long as you don't just try to binge the game in one night, it's not going to feel yeah, as repetitive. Yeah, exactly. I think people are forcing the classic mentality of one sitting must be being kind of thing. But if it was Sonic 3 and Knuckles and the final boss involved some mega like end of the world level that involved playing as Sonic with his moveset and then Tails and then Knuckles and then all three of them together as Super Sonic, Tails and Knuckles. And then they said to do that, you have to beat you know, the game of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles individually, I would understand, because it comes together that way, you know? But, it's like, even they were fair, like, with the Chaos Emeralds, you don't, you only have to get them once, because in the cutscene, when they show the Chaos Emeralds, they've all got some of them, and then they bring them together. But if the boss revolves around using all four teams, it would be unintuitive to say, beat Team Rose, and then you can just go straight to Metal Madness. Hmm. That's the way I see it. Okay. I know, I know what you mean. Again, I, I don't hate Heroes. I, I really think it's it, it gets too much hate. And honestly, I do love Heroes. I grew up with it. I will say, the special stages in Heroes, I still... Oh, yeah, yeah, the special stages in the bosses are the weakest part of the game. I'll give you that. Those are butt. Hero stages control like butt. I think we should just move on to 06. I don't know if we should waste time. Do you, should we talk about Shadow? Um, We can. I mean, I could give you a quick... You know, we'll just make this one. We'll make this one quick because I feel like I mean the controls in Shadow were similar to Heroes. We're not going to talk about the controls that well, much. No, no, no. Well, no. Okay. First is, of all, I do let, think. Let me, let me let me explain why yeah, they're worse than Shadow. No, okay. it is it is worse than Shadow. I agree. Okay, Heroes is linear. Shadow has you searching for shit, 
and you only have the one character at your disposal, no fight character or power character that controls smoother to help you through that. So you're literally limited to going through and searching these areas for things in these wider levels, you know, and backtracking or whatnot with a character that has that kind of control. Whereas heroes, you're just like going forward with Sonic most of the time and, you know, stopping another character. I don't know. I just think it's, it's a different when it comes to control. But anyway, Shadow is a game that I thought was really cool as a kid. At least I used to watch the trailers before the game came out. I was so hyped for it. And not to say that I didn't enjoy the game, but as I've gotten older, like I've not been able to go back to it the same way I have, like say, Adventure One or Heroes or you know, O Six. Even mm-hmm. yes, like, people probably don't know that. I don't know. I don't. But, I, I will say with here or with uh, Shadow, um, a lot of people like to bring up the gun gameplay, and I will say, I as much as as bizarre as it is, uh, the gun gameplay kind of works in Shadow. It does. The gun work. gameplay, honestly. I will give it that. It does work. Um, it, the story in Shadow is stupid as hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, put that on the box. The gun gameplay, it works. Please that's about again. it. Yeah, that's all I could say. It's dumb in concept. In fact, the entire game is fucking dumb in concept. It should have never f- happened. In fact, I still, I'm still probably in the, I, I'm, I don't know if I'm in the minority here. I believe Shadow should, should have just stayed dead after Adventure 2. It would have made his character you know so much better. I think oh, that, would have, that would have ruined heroes. Shit. I've been thinking about the same shit too. Like, Shadow's a cool as heck character, but I don't know. Uh, in terms of Shadow the Hedgehog, the game itself, I think the control is even worse than heroes. I don't know why. For me, it just feels even slippery, like really? even more slippery than anything in heroes the and thing I is with shadow that. after you make a jump and you land shadow just keeps moving forward and that could get you killed a lot that doesn't happen well, the in same, heroes well the same thing happens in heroes, in heroes exactly. the way to stop that from happening is to not move the analog at the moment you land and then you stop dead in your tracks and if you want to keep moving you hold the analog but that's but just anyways, the-, the hulk story is just shouldn't have happened it's so i dumb. think i think if they were gonna do a shadow game they should have made it more linear in the sense that you go from level to level and it's not search here and then hero or evil or you know like you know what? it was an place. interesting premise that ultimately failed but yeah because they have a final I appreciate story the ambition it's just it was it was i liked it as a kid honestly I, and i still don't hate the game i just think story-wise and concept it just should have never happened but anyways i think that's the general consensus with shadow that people yeah have. let's just move mo- on I to think, i think yeah let's just move on to sonic Oh, mine's I mean gonna sonic be the quickest mine's uh, gonna be go the ahead. quickest i've made a video called why i love sonic 06 and that is oh my God, the highest so viewed cool positive more. video towards no. sonic 06 i feel like i've explained everything there and for me to say everything again here would be doing a disservice because i wouldn't be able to say it the way i said it in a scripted video but it. yes that is my second favorite sonic game yes i have unpopular opinions and twip still well, thinks force soundtrack is better I, than mania so I'm leave gonna, me alone i'm gonna probably surprise you both here here's the thing from here to sonic cd soundtrack. the worst thing i think sonic 06 did was its story that's it I really think the game. Okay, here's the Even thing. Even with Shadow Story and the- Silver Story, uh, I believe yes. those are not as intrusive. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. The entire story of Sonic 06 is a mess, and I don't think anyone can actually try to defend that story and say it is coherent. It is what Sonic uh, the Hedgehog okay, story look, should be. I will be. admit that 06 has 06 story has potholes, but if we were to right because Mm -hmm. let me get this let me get this off my chest adventure has the best plot okay if they were to remake adventure i think those would be in terms of like watching all cutscenes together i think adventure one would be the best cutscenes to watch but because 06 had better presentation of cutscenes and i still liked the 06 plot plot holes aside if i was forced like gone to my head you have to sit there and watch a bunch of sonic cutscenes from one game in order I would watch 06 over any other game in the series. I feel like presentation doesn't... I feel presentation doesn't mask how bad a story is. Well, no, I enjoyed the story. Like, I was aware of plot holes, but I actually like the characters. Like, I don't hate Elise. I know unpopular opinion. I really enjoyed Shadow's story. Um, I like seeing Team Dark get together. I love Silver as a character, and Pete Capella just knocked out of the park. Seeing Blaze in the main series after playing her rush. Yeah, so it's like I look at all the other Sonic stories and and this is more so a dig in general like Sonic stories have never been perfect But when it comes to watching all the Sonic stories 
Honestly, I think SA2 story is overrated, but it's not bad. It's still good, but it's overrated. You asshole. You asshole. It just comes I just out think of the corner. If I, was watching, if I was watching the cutscenes of a Sonic game, I had to pick one to watch. I would pick 06 first and then okay. SA2 second. Here's if SA2 got remade, I would put it at if F, Sorry, if SA1 got remade, i will put it at first. What is your opinions on the story to it? Uh, the story. Uh, I liked the ambition. I liked the ideas. I like this whole crisis like city shit. The future's destroyed. Blah 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 blah. Don't hate that. I think that's cool. Uh, obviously, the execution was very weird. Um, I hate Elise as a character. I think she's absolutely dreadful. Yeah. Um, uh, I hate the voice acting for Tails and Sonic. Yeah. Okay. Sonic no, okay, okay, that, okay. That's bullshit. Now. No. Bullshit. I really how think. Was Amy, how was Amy Pallon bad in 06? I don't know. I just. I feel I like don't, the I don't like that direction for. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, and look, especially I Sonic will, as well. Sonic says everything in the same tone of voice for every sentence he ever says. I will agree that game. Silver Ooh, had the best. Was, like, I'm, gotta be careful not to fall off here. Like, how was no, that? I gotta go listen. save Elise. Silver's voice oh, was no. definitely the best in 06. Silver's voice was definitely the best in 06. Shadows was fine. Uh, something about Jason. Uh, with Jason Griffith in some of the early games. His delivery was, was very. I agree. It was every off. time in he would talk in now, Shadow, I'll give you that. Jason sounded a bit different. Every time and in Sonic, Sonic X, yeah. But in 06, I felt like he sounded fine, especially like in stages. Yeah, no, in stages are fine, but like there's a lot of times where Jason Griffith in the early parts, and especially sometimes in 06, where everything he says is exaggerated. Where like, like it sounds the just, same. The delivery sounds the same for every sentence. Is what I hear from that. I heard that in Shadow, but in 06, I feel like. It's not as intrusive than in Shadow. Shadow had a way worse direction. I do agree with that. But I will say, let's move on from the story because I feel like I feel like that is the one part that I feel like yeah, again bro. is the general consensus. Even though Premi is the odd one out here, I will say the general consensus in Sonic 06 and based off the general consensus is that, and I'm not talking about the mainstream like like the mainstream game critics that like just hate on this game all the time and constantly bring it up. It happened over and over. Yeah, they do talk about the kiss here's scene. What, here's what I will say. Um, oh, prim, actually, it happened him. 14 years ago. Holy cow, that game's old. I will say that, you know, gameplay-wise and level design-wise, Sonic 06... Okay, now hold on. Now hold on. I got to preface this. Level design-wise, Sonic 06 is great. The gameplay in Sonic 06, though it... I can get... Like Heroes, I can get used to it over time and I can control it over time. It, it, the controls and the physics in 06 is some of the most precise and some of the worst in terms of gameplay but i do agree that it doesn't get in the way when you get used to it it should have been it should have had more momentum and more physics to it like an adventure the momentum thing like it it does feel like you didn't have momentum when you were playing in 06 yeah compared to like adventure one which is one uh, thing I compare. do like about PS6. Oh, there was no momentum. There was just none. Shut the fuck up, Benedict. I mean, there really no. isn't any, considering the fact that, you know, we go. Or if you're talking about 06, I don't know what you're talking about, but for 06, yeah, there is no momentum because you can literally walk around a loop. Like, yeah. Literally. Upside down. The point yeah, is, like, it, was, it was designed more like, I guess, a standard platformer. They didn't really give you momentum, which is... The thing is, it's like... One of the when things you look that at... I, I put Heroes over 06 on, like, why I love Heroes so much is because you have that ability to manipulate momentum, like... Yeah, at you least know. it has something going for it. But like 06, it's just like, it, again, you could get used to it, but, you know. I mean, to be fair, the levels kind of were designed in a way that it could still work without it. But if you had that momentum, you could do so much more in the in The, in the, the homing room, attack. Like, stuff. If you guys played P, uh, Project 06, yes. like, again, yeah, given, the like, again it, you given something that momentum, it, kind of, it changed the game a lot. And giving it, making them control more like it did in an adventure, really just changed the game and I, again i don't think Sonic 6 is really as bad as people make it out to be in the mainstream you know game critics and the people that try to you know hold that over our heads the game has a lot of problems and again it did it did you know do a number to the series i can't hide that fact and no one can really deny that the game in and of itself really had a, like it had a lot of promise but it just it just kind of missed it it gave a lot of promises and it looked really well good but again a question when, though like this is more of a phrasing thing though to be honest yeah when they say like 06 ruin the series 
why is it that because you asked me before like why do i hate sonic team why is it that we say that 06 ruined the series and we don't say sonic team ruined the series like it's like the phrasing of it because they chose or maybe sega chose to release the game early so it's like what we're blaming the game and breaking the discs of the game but then we're giving sonic team a pass when they put out the game rewind i'll explain why rewind to the early 2000s um at the time people heroes though again you know heroes at the time heroes wasn't as well received let me explain this real quick heroes at the time was the fans said like the same thing we said now like the control is like off and again this it doesn't feel like the adventure games we had before we want it we want like the adventure three shadow the hedgehog came about and people were just like what the hell you like what is that um Sonic 06, the trailers and everything was the whole game was marketed as we're going back to the roots in terms of 3D Sonic. The game was marketed, people don't like admitting this, the game was marketed like the next adventure game. It was. And you and know what, yeah, you know what, I, it, it absolutely was. I yeah, fucking agree. Okay, Sonic it was, but, 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 was, yeah. But, but, but what has that got to do with us not blaming well, Sonic no, Team? Well, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold I'm, on. I'm getting to the point of why people say like 06 ruined the series. It's kind of like, think about this, Premi. None of us in here. Re- okay, well, I know Twip does like it a little bit. Sonic Forces. Imagine Yo, it's been. Oh my god, I don't like Forces. Jesus. I thought. Well, you like you Five. play it a lot. <laughs> For not like. Okay. Anyways. Okay. So we don't like. Travis ruined my reputation. I feel like most people in this in in this fan base uh, know that Forces was not like it did not satisfy our wants for a mainline game. It feels like an eternity since we had a full mainline game. If if in a year when they announce the next game, let's say it wasn't an adventure remake and they make a new game, if Please. it performed the same as Forces, and it was just a cash grab, low budget, and it just it didn't satisfy our needs, and it was just a, just a mess. That and you know think about how much damage that would do. That's kind of what 06 did because at the time, 06 the story. I get that. I get that. Yeah. But I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say from a phrasing standpoint. Don't blame the game, blame the developer. Why do people say that 06 threw in the franchise (laughs) and ignore that? Sonic Team made 06 because it's like they've absolved Sonic Team. Well, no, when they just, say 06 blame... ruined the franchise, they're saying Sonic Team. They're not. They're not saying no, the they're game not, itself. They're not saying it in those words. They're not saying Sonic Team Prem, washed out oh, a game. This is they're the going, dumbest argument this... I've ever heard. This is dumb. Let's talk about the Sonic 06 music. Well, 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 well okay, it's good. Anyways, moving on. Now, Premi, hold on. <laughs> it's the Premi. best in the series, OST wise. But yeah. no, hold on, hold on. I I do want to talk about this because no, this is a main point because Premi Premi is one of the you know, when people, I always hear all the time in my comments, like, you know, the defender of Sonic 06, Premi to Remy. It's like, I do want to, I do want to understand, like. Okay, like, I, I, okay, I mean, okay, question. Let's yeah. say, let's say, for example, you had a party at your house and it was at 10 o'clock uh-huh. and it takes 30 minutes for me to get there by Uber, right? My Uber doesn't show up. So I get there at 1030. You're mad at me. Why are you late? Um, no, I wasn't late. The taxi made me late. Okay, let me blame the Uber driver for 14 years. I'm okay, not you this analogy for having a contingency. Is so <laughs> Prem, Sorry. Your analogies are some of the dumbest No, hold on, hold on. Shit I'm, no, I don't, don't want to say it. Is that people like to like break their 06 discs and forget that Sonic Team made that same 06. The but same what do you Sonic want them Team to do? Break the building? When I <laughs> criticize them, they defend it. And, when I, and then when it's time to bring 06, then they act as if 06 was just made by ghosts. The and reason here, let me just Wait, answer uh, this. Uh, let uh, me just Joe? answer this. The reason why 06 was quote unquote the one that ruined the series again, I, this is a quotes because I don't really agree. Obviously, Sonic is still around, but the reason why that game is hated by so many is, is because that was really the last time people, even main or, or uh, casual gamers, were also invested in the series. It wasn't just Sonic fans, it was casual Sonic gamers as well. Sold, though. That's not, that, the, the, the game is just an object at this point. Sonic Team are still doing the same things that they were doing since then. And it's like, oh, it's because of 06 that we don't have fully 3D games anymore. It's because of Sonic Team. It's like, 
it's like, I'm trying to get no, people to I do. Yeah, I mean, okay, uh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. The developers. They were taught them. Your, the your argument, hang on. Your argument is that you think like we should be we should be blaming the team, not the game. When we blame the game, we're blaming the team. We're not saying like we're yeah, not but, saying. Do you know like, why I say that? But it's because they defend the team, like especially when the game's not out yet. Like when we had the forces defense squad, it's like they <laughs> defend everything that the team does. When the game isn't out, and then when the game is out, they absolve the team of guilt by putting all the blame on the game itself, so they can keep defending the team. Well, you... That's the cycle I'm talking about. The same so thing that happened saying... with forces. The people uh, that were defending it so hard, hold on. and it's so like a totally different discussion. So wait, to the game you're itself. saying that we should just constantly? You're saying that uh, with that if argument, they keep, if they we should just consistently the throw hate at soccer team because of years, that. then we have to call out the team instead of being like, we did. Why did defend it? Again, what the fuck? Someone, someone, we someone, do. Someone, someone we do call them someone out. Someone well, but hold I'm on. Saying, like, Stop. You're saying we should hold a squad, grudge. Right? They defended the fuck out of Sonic Team before the game came out. And then when the game came out, they were like, forces of shit, forces of shit. Because we Sonic didn't team play get the right game. Hold on. So, uh, it's like, the team are never wrong. Hold on. Stop. A lot of people. Prem, Prem, hold on. The idea of... Uh, I feel like... Now, do not interrupt me. Let me finish this. <laughs> I feel like what you're saying now is because of what they did to 06, we should be holding a grudge on them now. The thing is, um, the thing is, hold on. The thing is, with for, right. with each new game they announce, it is in our best interest to give them our support. We can't consistently and ever like every day throw shit at Sonic Team because that will get us nowhere. That will I'm get not us saying nowhere. I will hate at them because they rushed That's 06. That's what it sounds like. Later. You want us to hold a I'm, grudge. I'm, I'm just saying that when I criticize them and people are like, why are you so mad at them? I'm like, okay, they took what is well, probably I one of my... They took, they, took, they took what was supposed to be one of my favorite games, and it still is, and they rushed it out. They never patched it out, even though it was on a system that, that can be patched. That Why didn't they do that? Let me right, under, let friend, me tell you something. Let me I tell you think something. people complain because you do it all the time. We're, we're gonna move on from 06 in a second, but let me explain something real quick. That premi was corporate. That was all corporate. They would not move. Sonic Team wanted to delay it, but Sega said no. That game is coming out November 2006. But Sonic Team is just a part of Sega. It's no, oh, God. but you hold know, on. You you that, Sonic it's just Team that, is a oh, branch God. of Sega, and they are under Sega's wing. Sega, and the, it's not even that. It's the suits and ties at Sega. It is the investors at Sega that is what the I'm reason your game came Nintendo out the way have investors, did. and they figure it out. Okay, but so here, but, whatever mismanagement is going on, eventually they just have to figure but it I'm out. Happy I'm happy. I'm Sonic here with my sixty dollars, willing to spend it on new games. And they won't let me do it. New games are so budget, they don't cost $60 but anymore. Exactly, that's the problem. Okay, we'll get to that. But what I'm saying is, you know, Sonic Team and Sega have not forgotten the shit they got from 06 because they still get the shit from 06. And I'm happy 06 happened the way it did because even now, they know it's okay to delay a game. It is not worth... Do, and again, we'll get but to they, Big Red Button all that shit. anything, though. I mean, it's a separate debate, honestly. But anyway, yeah, yeah, let's move on debate, from 06. Yeah. Let's move on from 06. The soundtrack in 06, yeah, it's good. We know. Blah, blah, blah. It's okay. the best soundtrack in the whole series. Yeah, so anyways, let's just move on. I agree to it for once. We'll move well, on. Well, of me because I played it first, but yeah. Okay, I want to go through mm -hmm. these two games quickly. I do not want to say Sonic and Sonic Rush Adventure? Okay, no. Hold on. You said no. main series. Sonic We're not the secret. Sonic and the Secret Rings ass all oh, around uh, ass. Uh, dark it's in the secret stupid. rings excellent ideas but the latest stages demand too much when most control so stupid so it makes... the entire game you know what's funny about secret rings is that i didn't play it as a kid but i knew about it and i used to watch gameplay of it for years like on youtube yeah. i didn't even know like how bad the motion control was so that the, the game actually auto runs for you i just thought it looked so fucking cool even like now when i look at videos you know, it, like, does it looks look cool. yeah, yeah it looks here's, sweet it, and then i try and play it and i'm like oh my god i know here's Fuck. the thing i didn't play rings or black knight in fact i still didn't play black knight yet but i did play rings recently yeah, if you guys black saw knight, the charity stuff like that i can tell you fans. right now the game didn't look bad i thought people were over exaggerating it is literally a chore even in design and in control the even design there's a this egg stage where you have to put the right eggs in the right nest oh and is, this just on dino, is this on dino jungle <laughs> yeah and you just keep going in circles it took me over 30 minutes to finish that stage 
Oh, the Dark Sage is ass. Are yeah, so I think the whole bad. the whole mission structure of Secret Rings is yeah. a big issue because it makes the stage like they basically reuse the same stage over and over the and over. The only thing I can, these crappy yeah. missions. The only thing I could give Secret Rings is the same thing we give every Sonic game: presentation in terms of cutscenes. They were pretty. They, I did like the presentation. You know, uh, dial- yeah, the cutscenes look too budget though. To dial- me, dial- you know what? Dialogue wise, wasn't that bad, but in graphic wise, okay, it wasn't that bad. But again. The controls and the gameplay, the most important parts of the game, were butt. That game, honestly, is worse than any 3D Sonic game, other than Sonic Boom. It, it was bad. It was bad. Oh, okay, so it, was Rings, man. it was bad. I did not... Now, let's move on. Oh, again, and yeah, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the soundtrack in Secret move Rings... On. <laughs> the soundtrack in Secret Rings was, was good, but it was just overplayed and repetitive in the game itself. I like the soundtrack to Secret so, Rings, so, okay, but so after playing Secret it, Rings, I feel like I can't play? listen to the soundtrack because it was so repetitive. No, answer the question. What were you saying? He didn't answer the question. 06 or Secret Rings, which would you rather play? 06 or Secret... 06. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't hate 06. I think 06. Well, okay. I I don't like like 06, but I, 06 isn't as bad as people make it out to be. Gameplay I mean, wise, I don't 06 like is 06. Tight. I just don't hate it. It's just kind of there. Gameplay wise, 06 is fine. But I mean, playing as silver is like really slow and all that stuff. But like again, stuff like that, it, it doesn't really bother me. Okay, I'm not like I gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. I'm I'm an adult now. I, it's a game. I'm playing a video game. I'm having a fine time. In Secret Rings, I'm not. Black Knight, I, I haven't played that. that. You guys let yes, me know what you guys think of Black Knight. Play those That's all we needed to hear. Okay, on to the next game. What did you guys think of Black Knight? Uh, I, I, I haven't played Black Knight yet, but... Oh, yeah. I'm... Have you two not played it? I haven't, I haven't played, played it. it. I've seen gameplay, right, and so... I've seen the story. Writing-wise, it I've seems I've seen okay. some cutscenes, and they look amazing. Yeah. All right, yeah, so I'll it's my that. it's my time to shine. Yes. Black Knight is a very fun game for what it's trying to be. It took all of the What's it trying from, to be, Twip? Tell us. Um, it was a more linear... It was. It still has the auto-running shit, but it wasn't trying to be this like, big, expansive 3D Sonic game. It had its own... So it's still fully motion control, then? It's, yeah. No, no, it's not, actually. The analog stick controls Sonic left and right. The motion controls goes into the, the swinging of the sword. I just think um, the concept of Black Knight is what bothers me. Again, it's it's the experimentation thing that I, I don't like that they do with Sonic. Great, to be honest. I, I, like Sonic is I, think, I think the execution isn't half bad either. I think it has easily top three best stories in the whole franchise. Okay, yeah, so, no, yeah. I've heard the writing is good. The soundtrack is amazing, and the presentation and everything lo- sounds fine. Even in in the the dialogue and the voice acting. Yeah, everything. And you know what? The gameplay it's isn't just... half bad. It's fun. I heard you the gameplay speak, isn't as bad really... as Secret Rings. I I have heard that. I know it's a better experience. I just think as a concept wise, it's kind of like. And again, Premier's gonna scream at me. I feel like yeah, but it's like it's kind of like the rare hog to me, you. where it's not the gameplay that bothers me; it's the concept of how we got here that bothers me. Well, it's I mean, the story of the game is supposed to be if, different. If, though, if, Sonic that's, that's the whole if Sonic Heroes and Sonic 06 can have the and Sonic Unleashed have can have these combat focused fucking segments of the game, then why can't Sonic in the Black Knight? Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I, don't Again, even, I can't I don't say that much because I haven't played it. And you side. know what? The, the sword play in that game isn't even... It doesn't even stop you in your tracks. There's this one attack where you jump and swing your sword and it kills them all in like a single fucking hit. I mean, people always like give it, like Mario a pass for trying different shit like with Flood or with Cappy. No, but it's when, like, it's Sonic, when it's like Sonic, it's like Sonic has to be this way. Yeah, it's to like, play like SA1, think, has to play like the classics or it's wrong. I think Black Knight was a novel idea and I think the execution wasn't half bad and people just play it before they even delve into the game like oh wow i just waggled the whole fucking game that means it's fucking bad but if you actually fucking play the game it's way more technical than that like, okay it's, i don't no, know i get what you People mean just, and I, again yeah. i can't say too much on it so, there's I will, so many technical levels to it I, I will say that you know i will try to get to that game soon but you know i guess that's all we could go off of right now i guess it, again it's uh, all i've heard is it's not that bad so no, with that said, and I will say it's good. It's no, really no, good. No, I, better than forces. I, Way better than I'm forces. just saying from the general consensus. Much, okay. The general consensus of the fan base. It's it's not it's not a bad yeah. game. Yeah, I no. would give that game a seven out of ten. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> And I, now okay. let's, uh, we skipped up? one when we went to Black Knight, by the way, just for the record. What? We skipped a very what? important one. What did we skip? Well, Black no, Knight came really... in 2009, you know, so. Well, yeah. no, we're going, we're we getting there now. Let's talk about Sonic Unleashed. I'm getting there now. Sonic Unleashed. We're going back to Sonic Unleashed, a game that... Oh! Now, hold um, on. One of the best Sonic games. Now, okay. Now, hold on there, buckaroo. Let me say this. Let me just say this. Unleashed, oh, Sam, in my opinion... No. Now, hold on. Unleashed, in my opinion, 
is the and I feel I Twip heard me say this before and he agreed disagreed with me on this, but I do believe Unleashed is the most polished 3D Sonic game to date. Polished. I disagree. Polished in what sense? If it's polished yeah. if it's in, in terms the sense of, of like feeling, glitch here's, here's count, the thing. then I'll say Lost World is more. Okay, polished. Yeah, if you, yeah, hold on. Hold on. If you mean in a presentation overall, like no, hold, that's hold on. Then, yeah, presentation in terms of no glitches. Uh, presentation in terms of cutscenes, dialogue, storytelling, and having in, a concept and feeling, and feeling like a complete thing. I think yeah, feeling like a complete like, package. Yeah, package glitches, feeling like a complete package. It is the most polished three sound game to date, and it was the and still at the time of this recording the last full priced Sonic game, and it feels like one. Now Which hold on. Uh, now yeah, hold on. Yeah, that's wrong. That's wrong. It, it was fifty dollars, right? It was fifty dollars. And Lost World, I'm pretty sure I bought Lost World full price. I'm talking. Okay, well, I feel like yeah, Lost World was a mainline Sonic game, but I, I'm talking about like from a tactical standpoint and being like. On the new console, you mean and being it felt like, like big budget. You know what I mean? A big budget, us. yeah. Like, um, I, I, like in terms of like a three D Sonic game, it was, it, it, it was. Yeah, the like last, the budget was like. It was like it was the amazing. last real, like full budget, and I feel like it was the last I time Sonic Team Sonic had its generations. Full. Well, it's not, it's not as much well, as hold on. Least, I, but, I, I, as much as I like generations better because of the gameplay in the levels, I will say that I feel like generations is not as polished as Unleashed. Uh, no, Gen I disagree. Honestly, Unleashed is just. The I don't think good story hands. means it's got polished. The way I I I I just would describe polish is: Are the controls tight? Do they fucking work? How much glitches do the games have? Shit like that. I wouldn't say if it's got a good story, that means it's. Well, no, I mean, I'm not talking about just the story. I'm talking about just the presentation. Polish is about things that things that don't always have to be there, but uh, are there just to add for it. Unleashed. Like, Unleashed has a lot of that. Unleashed from, has like, CGI cutscenes. They can get and things like that, and just the overall presentation of yeah, the, the whole world and what everything. I'm talking about here. So many layers of things that they could have gone away of not yeah, doing. But layers. They still did. N now hold on, real layers. quick. Layers. Now I will <laughs> say that. Um, you know, when I went like Unleashed, now I I have praised the game to this point. I will say, great fucking soundtrack. I love that soundtrack in Unleashed. Of some course, of the of best course. in the series, nighttime and daytime. Nighttime is some of the the nighttime music oh, Unleashed yeah, oh, yeah, got well, me through college. You know, when way, I, I study and when I relax, that music is amazing. Now I will hey, it's great. say, um, I've been really debating if I prefer Sonic Adventure Two soundtrack or Unleashed. Well, we have both. Like <laughs> now, here's what I am going to say. I have praised the game up to this point. The concept of the Werehog is stupid. I agree. Concept. I disagree. I disagree. I agree I... because it clearly tried to just copy God of War. After it Sonic... find the new fact. Here's the thing. Look, After then you Sonic could argue that Six... Black Knight tried to copy fucking Prince of Persia. Because it has no, a it sword didn't. In it. No, it no didn't. hold on. The point that is that a, the point is that for, Sonic, from for Sonic to stay fresh, they have to try new ideas. Okay? But it was so blatantly fucking copying well, okay, God of well, War. Well, here's the thing. No, no, no. But here's the thing. They could try new ideas, but it needs to remain in the realm of Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, this goes back to my argument with Sonic One. The game. You know, yeah, it had its slow points, but you still had full control of Sonic, and it still feels relatively, relatively faster than most games at the time. Relatively, the Werehog is now again at like I don't mind the Werehog that much. I don't, but the oh. Werehog is inherently such a dumb idea, especially after coming off of 06 and how bad that game, how much bad press that game has done. And we have this new and cool boost formula, which, ref which was fun and quick to play as and really captures Sonic's essence and speed in 3D. Why the hell? People forget, people forget, people forget this because what? they look back with a modern lens of we've got Unleashed, we've got Colors, we've got Gens, we've got all these boost games. Why didn't we just make Unleashed just boost levels? But if you were in the shoes of Sonic Team, who had been I doing do why adventure style gameplay for so many years, the boost in itself had never been done in the main series. They were taking a risk with the okay, boost. Imagine, in imagine their mind. It was like, oh shit, we no, have to make these levels like a hundred times longer. Let me tell you what it really is. Two seconds. Prem, let me exactly. tell you what it is. The boost in itself was not a safe bet. Then they were trying. Yeah, they were like, I, rush did it. Let's I try think, it on, on this. Yeah, I bet they started developing that game. They're like, oh fuck, I Prem, think we've made a mistake. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me yeah, tell they, you. They probably started with the boost that was. They're like, oh shit. Oh we shit, like, we've made a huge No, no, no. Here's what. Here's what they thought. Here's why they put, <laughs> let me tell you this. 
here's why they put the Werehog. The boost formula is hell to develop for. Think about it like this. You're a member at Sonic Team and you've been making a hallway for the better part of a month only for Sonic to boost through that in the span of three seconds. Get that. That the thing is, is Sonic why Team they put so, the Werehog Sonic in the Team game. Sonic Team was so wacky that I firmly believe that they had the Werehog idea from the start. I don't think they just thought, oh, the boost is too, you know, hard to develop. Let's add something else. I think from the jump, the they game went, was too we're going to do this werewolf thing. They were worried I, I, the game I was too quick. I firmly believe that they just went, what if we made Sonic a werewolf? And then that was the idea. <laughs> No, what it was was they ne the game was too quick. They understood. <laughs> Why we made Sonic a werewolf. Oh they my understood. I get that. I get that. Boost obviously is quicker, but I still think when mm. they the, uh, when they were thinking of the idea for the game, I think someone just went in there and just said. So guys, uh, why are we just made Sonic no, a werewolf? No, what it you know was, what? is the they game. play- Because I mean, we come up, we went on Secret Rings of Black Knight. Sonic was just like a fucking knight. It's like, oh, well, actually, that came out afterwards, but they were the yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the we made time. Sonic. Here's what it was. We made Sonic a werewolf. The game and was, was too quick, and they, and they the needed game. to pan it Oh my god, out. what if we make Sonic a block? Sonicos. Wow. Anyways. What if we make Sonic get absorbed my point by is, alien What if we made creatures? another Sonic, but it's actually the Sonic from the old games? <laughs> <laughs> here's what here's what I will say. I, I feel like I feel like I gotta leave the call before we even get to the 2010s. Oh it's gonna no! Be too oh my god! Right the, the hell the, here. The this is why I brought Sonic you guys in. Because I need to oh, I need to talk gosh. to you about all of that. Now hold on. Now what I will say, un Unleashed. I, I you know from all that aside, I really think the game again, like O6, gets more hate than it, or like Sonic Heroes. I mean, gets more hate than it really deserves. If people would just relax and understand, this is a game. Just sit down and relax. Don't think about just. I know it's hard to because the, the daytime stages are so exhilarating to play. It is. It is a, just an enjoyable fun time. The only thing I will say, the sun and moon, how it was handled in the HD version, it does yeah, get in the way where you have to backtrack and like if you have. Oh a, yeah. Like, Since you mentioned HD version, Unleashed is shit. Okay. You know I disagree. Oh I think Unleashed is pretty fun. Uh, well, the general consensus is, is that you know the the way they handle the sun and moon in that version is better. It doesn't hold your prog. I'm not, like, I'm not against the holding of progress, but at the same time, I understand that other people want to just go through the levels and whatnot. No, I and they distinctly were trying to remember. Out the game. I, I get that. Yeah, I distinctly remember when I played through Unleashed the first time. I remember getting stuck at that at that wall where you know the next day's entries required a, a, just a bunch of medals. It's like what? And it took me a while to be able to just be able to play that. Yeah, scene, like, so. I'll admit that I was I was fine with the Unleashed, but I understand if people have that issue. Like I still haven't been Super yeah, Mario 3 honestly, because I, I have to go back that, and though. backtrack. I can look past it though. Now I want to bring up something real quick before we get to the game that you guys think is the worst. I do want to I bring know this that up. Well. Real quick. I know. <laughs> now, do you know, I don't prem. I want to. I want to bring this up real quick. Now, Prem, you've been advocate, advocating for Unleashed to be on PC. I <laughs> well, now hold actually. on. Now hold on. Rip the dream. Now hold on. I though I do get where you're coming from, and I wouldn't be against that honestly. I would love to play through Unleashed on my PC, but. The Unleashed project takes the best parts of Unleashed oh, and already gives it to us. No. So oh, why? No, why no, no, do you no, so no, push no, for no. Oh my god, it's no. perfect. Yes, 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 yes. No. no. I All love right. this argument. Oh my god. Okay, I, viewers, I viewers, if you're listening, listening, Premier Remy has got a video called Sonic Unleashed Remastered My Thoughts. And he <laughs> described the perfect where he, where remaster he, he for Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed where he explains it's confirmed. Where he, no, where, where I explain exactly how they should do it in a way that will appease the hardcore fans of the games while still allowing the critics who shout on the werehog or other things to enjoy it. So if you watch that video, it's called Sonic Unleashed You Master My Thoughts. Oh, too bad. It's never going to happen because they lost the source code. I also got a video called... <laughs> yeah, the know, it's not that they... Well, actually, I hold on. explain why they didn't, so... Actually, yeah. let me explain that to, real quick, Twip. Um... I don't think they lost the source codes. What they, they do, they, 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 they the overwrite source the source code, and it's they ruin actually... the source code. They don't just make. They don't just save uh, the progress. Yeah, you know what? That yeah, I believe you. They that makes overwrite. Sense. Okay, let me tell you why you guys are both wrong because no one's listening to your boy. Okay, what? All right, Xbox One X backwards compatibility. You know, Gens and Unleashed made it onto that, right? Yes. Yeah. It is factually, technically, you can check this. Yeah. For them to be able to utilize that, they need the source code. So the, for them to get Jensen Unleashed from Xbox 360 onto Xbox One through backwards compatibility and upscale it to 4K requires source code. 
Therefore, it's factually impossible for them to have lost the gens and only source code well, because they were able to well, put hold on, on Wait a minute. If, if that were true, and if they were running it off the original source code using this new technology, the game wouldn't have slowdown, but it still does. So that's not true. No, that it's it wouldn't slowdown yeah, because yeah, the, the, code, the code right, may not yeah. be perfectly optimized. So that's why. No, uh, that's but if it slows down in the exact same areas and everything. Yeah, that no. doesn't mean it's running it's off. It's optimization. Of, no. To this day, I still get, I no, still get lag on chemicals on Fred, five that's all the bullshit. If it was well, the exact same slowdown, how to get the exact same places, have you they played, did not have to Have you played poorly optimized? None of us are they lag in the same I... areas. They okay, lag in the same areas. No, if you lag, they if you lag in the exact same chemical way. chemical plant in generations, the slide section always lags. I don't care what PC you have. I don't care how many tens of thousands you spent on your PC. When you get to the slide and chemical plant in generations, it lags. That is Fred, optimization. Is... Fred, if you've got a source that says these games use the fucking source code, then fair enough. But you don't. And I don't believe it. Well, you're the, wrong. The, I'm telling you right now. The plant doesn't they, lag for me, by the on way. On the official website, they explain how they get the backwards compatibility to work. It's from the source code. They have not lost the source code. If they had lost the source code, that means you're saying that they emulated Unleashed on Xbox One X, which they didn't. Which means they use the source code. Because no. if they didn't use the source no. code... Okay, they here, okay. none of us, none of us are a programmer... So hold on. I will. Uh, I do have programmer friends, and I can probably get that confirmed. I just don't know for sure. <laughs> I don't know about I'm, any of that. I'm getting this from programmers. They're telling okay. me this. Then if you're telling me that they saw the source code, then... Why the be... fuck did they make Sonic Forces with Sonic Lost World's engine when they well, had it, Generation it, because it Because here's the thing, and I do I think I do know the answer for that. The source code for Unleashed was on 32-bit, and they only... Re not only... Lost World was actually the first time they programmed in 64-bit. They fuck were that him. late in programming in 64-bit, because it's more optimized. That's why. You know, maybe I do agree with Prem with Sonic Team. Fucking no, hold on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus.